fallow deer were first brought to Britain from the Western Mediterranean during the Roman period when they were kept within enclosures. Genetic analysis has shown that these Roman fallow deer went extinct in Britain following the collapse of the Roman Empire. It was not until the 11th century that fallow deer were reintroduced, this time from the Eastern Mediterranean. Fallow bucks weigh between 46 and 93 kilos and are the only species in the UK with palmate antlers, meaning that they have five or more lobes. In fact, the only other of the 60 various species and subspecies of deer around the globe that have the same antler makeup are moose and caribou. Fallow deer have called Petworth Park home for over 500 years. They were reportedly hunted by Henry VIII on his visit to Petworth in the 1500s. Today, around six to 700 of them grace the parkland and October is the best time to see them in all their glory. Good morning and welcome back. Today I am at Petworth Park again. Now it's been two years since I was last here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, took, I came here really early and we had that really kind of cold, damp, low-lying mist. Um, I did a video on that a couple of years ago and here's a couple of pictures from that video. You can see that it was uh, a really beautiful day. I mean, it was, you really couldn't see that far and uh, to a certain degree I got a little bit disorientated um, as to where I parked the car, but we found our way out, it's not, not the end of the world. Yeah, I'm just going to spend the first kind of five minutes glassing the area and see where I can see the main, the main pockets of, of groups. Um, they have up to 600 um, fallow deer here, um, but I believe that they are mainly at this time of year, obviously with the rutting season, um, the groups are split and it's, I think they say it's only five males will spread the love amongst all those uh, deer. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's mainly five main groups each, which is a, a, lot, of, um, a lot of those to look after. Okay, right, so let's, uh, let's have a scout, see which direction I want to go and um, I'll send the drone up, send it out, and uh, hopefully I can spot groups of deer um, by that as well. So it's quite a good area we've got to cover here. Okay, let's start looking and let's start walking. Now this is the kind of environment I, I really enjoy looking at tracks and signs you know like their, uh, their poo etc. Now the benefit of this is the fact that because you are literally in a park um, that only has the fallow deer that by looking at the footprints and their faeces, their droppings whatever you want to call it um, you can you can kind of identify you know exactly what it's come from so when you can associate yourself or associate that poo with that deer it makes it easier like when you're down in the new forest etc where they've got a couple of different or two or three different types of deer down there um, which I think is uh, fallow uh, they have got some reds and um, another one can't remember now I'll put it on the screen but uh, it, but it's good because then you can you can really tell that it's definitely come from that that animal uh, and then you recognize it next time you see it so uh, instead of being kind of mixed up in knowing which poo you've looked at or which footprint you've looked at uh, it'll break it down for you so I just thought I'd share that with you whilst I was whilst I was looking at it and thinking about it I'm just coming up on the brow of the hill now and I can hear the male stags so uh, I'm gonna go quiet for a minute and see if I can 
get up to the little group of trees that's just over the brow here and uh, see if I can sneak in a little bit and get as close as I can. There's a beautiful stag. It's a real cream and brown colour. We've also got a couple of youngsters kind of jostling within their group. I'm wondering if I'm just a little bit too early in the, uh, in the season for them. Last time I came, there seemed to be a lot more anger involved in it. Whereas here, there's still a lot of males all still together, especially a lot of the younger ones. And there's that big stag, the cream and brown one. He just doesn't seem to be bothered. I'm wondering if I can make it to the next set of trees. But I do not want to make them get up and move. Okay, let's head for the trees. Second, that any of them show any signs of wanting to move or any major signs of interest in me, that's when I'm going to stop and head back on my tracks. I do not want to disturb them. A lot of people do, walking their dogs, etc. And people just running towards them. But that is not me. I'm literally halfway between the two tree groups. And at the moment, they don't look like they're bothered at all. There's a couple of them jostling. They're all just laying down still. There is one lone stack to my right. I'm not quite sure why he's on his own. But I do not want to disturb. Let me show you. They're over there between just to the left of that tree that's almost dead centre and just by the dark patch in the middle there's a stag all on his own and there's the trees I'm heading for Let's keep going. Oh, I am so nearly there. But here's just beautiful. I 
couldn't help but stop and film him. He's literally just going past me. Okay, let's head back for the trees. Right. I'm in the woods now. Amongst the trees. I just want to get near the near the deadfall and the piles of dead trees. Give myself a bit more cover. And then um, I think I'm just gonna stop and sit for a while, have my lunch, and watch the deer. Have to get some photos and some video of them rutting. Okay. Okay, right. Time to settle down. You can tell they're completely comfortable with where I am. Where all bar one have kind of settled down. Laying down. In fact, they're most of the way around me. There's only like one bit right opposite behind the camera that hasn't got a deer. Kind of laying down or grazing in the area. Lunchtime. Well, I the grass, very wet, it'd be rude not to stop at the pond as we're here. So I'm just trying to get as low as I can um, to the water, which I want to try further around a little bit, I think.
there's a big herd of deer on the far side over there. Can't quite tell how many males there are. I think I can see at least two. One laying down and one standing up. But um, it's getting quite busy now with people are walking their dogs and there's been a few organised groups here also which have been big numbers and although they don't uh, get anywhere near the wildlife the um, the rest of the people that are just walking their animals do unfortunately they get close 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 and then they get up and walk away so whereas I just want to get as close as I can but they have to swap to them take some photos some video uh, and just sit and enjoy it if you've enjoyed today's video then please give it a thumbs up and if you don't subscribe already and you'd like to that would be great um, my photos at the end of the video uh, are all available to see on my instagram page so jump over to there if you want to have a, a better look um, for me thanks for watching until next week bye for now